I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you questions from the test paper. It always helps to do such questions. Now, we'll try to find equation of a polynomial function from the given data. Let us look into this question in details. The question is, the following represent a set of points that lie on the graph of a function. Determine the equation of the polynomial function using an algebraic method. The points are 1, 0, 2, minus 12, 3, minus 10, 4, 18, 5, 84, and 6, 200. You can pause the video, try the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let us begin by finding the first difference. And once we find the first difference, we will know the degree of the polynomial, right? So let us write down the given data, which is 1, 0. So we have 1, 0. This is x and that is y value. 2 minus 12, 3 minus 10, 4, 18, 5, 84, 6, 200, right? Now, let us find the first difference. It is y2 minus y1, right? So we'll find the difference between these two numbers, right? And then write down the result. If it is constant, then the function is linear. If not constant, then it is not linear, right? So minus 12 minus 0 is minus 12. So you get minus 12 here. Minus 10 minus 12 will be 2. 18 minus this will be 28. And 84 minus 18, we can actually use calculator. So we'll do 84 minus 18 equals to 66. And 66, yeah. And 200 minus 84 is equals to 116. Correct. Let us do the second difference now. So what we saw was that the first difference, which I'm writing as this, is not constant, right? So we earlier wrote values of x and y, which are given to us. Second difference, that is to do 2 minus 12, 28 minus 2, 66 minus 28, 116 minus this, 2 minus 12 will be 14, 28 minus 2 will be 26, and then we'll show 66 minus 28, 38, and 116 minus 66 will be 50. Now that is also not constant, so we'll go for the third difference, right? So second difference is also not constant. So now let us find the third difference. So third difference 26 minus 14 is 12. 38 minus 26 is also 12. And 50 minus 38 is also 12. Now the third difference is constant for us. Since the third difference is constant, we know we are working with a cubic relation, right? So we have a cubic function. And the third difference, delta 3, is 12. Now, if third difference is constant, we can find the leading coefficient, a. a, the leading coefficient will be third difference, constant third difference, divided by 3 factorial. Now, third difference is 12. 3 factorial is 3 times, 2 times 1, which is 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So the leading coefficient is 2 for us, and the equation of the function, which is a cubic function, a is 2, so we'll write 2x cubed, right, plus bx squared, plus cx, plus d. So that becomes the equation for us. Now, we are going to use these points to find the value of b, c, and d. We have already found the value of a as 2, which I have substituted directly here, okay? So that is the strategy. So we're trying to save some steps, okay? Now if I use the point 1, 0, that means we can write f of, f of 1 is 0, right? So in this equation, we'll substitute 1. So we have 2, 1 cube is 1, 2 plus b, right, 
we are substituting x equals to 1 and we have plus c plus d equals to at 1 it is 0 right so this equation could be rearranged and we could write b plus c plus d equals to minus 2 right so we can write this as uh, we can write this as let me say b plus c plus d equals to minus 2 right so what we did was we substituted 1 0 so we got the first equation now we'll substitute 2 minus 12 in the given equation so we have f of 2 equals to a is 2 so 2 times 2 cube 2 cube is 8 right let me write 2 cube here first then we'll simplify this b times 2 square plus c times 2 plus d and this value f of 2 is minus 12 minus 12 so let me rewrite this as 2 cube is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so we get 16 plus 2 square is 4 so we get 4b plus 2c plus d equals to minus 12 and rearranging we could write this equation as uh, 4b plus 2c so we could write this as 4b plus 2c plus d equals to minus 12 minus 16 and that is equals to minus 28 so that is the second equation so so what we will do here is we'll write of these equations 1 and equation 2 since we need to find three variables we use we'll have to use three points third point is 3 and minus 10 3 and minus 10 let's use that point also so f of 3 will mean that we have to write 3 here for x so that is 2 times 3 q plus b times 3 square plus c times 3 plus d and that is 3 cube is 27 27 times 2 is 54 plus 3 square is 9 9b plus 3c plus d and that is equal to minus 10 right now we can rearrange this equation also taking 54 to the right side so we get our equation as 9b plus 3c plus d equals to minus 10 minus 54 which is minus 64 right so we'll call this as our equation number 3 now with three equations and three variables these are simultaneous equations to solve uh, what we can do is we have d as common if i substitute uh, if i subtract one from the other then we can find the value of find two equations in b and c so what we will do now is we will do equation 2 minus equation 1 so let's do equation 2 minus equation 1 that is 2 and this is 1 for us so in equation 2 we have 4b 4b minus b is 3b so let me write this as as 4b minus b is 3b 3b 2c minus cc so plus c d d cancel out so we have minus 28 minus 2 so that becomes plus that is minus 26 and now we will do equation 3 minus 2 equation 3 is 9b and this is 4b that gives us 5b 3c minus 2c is plus c and d and d cancel out minus 64 so we'll do minus 64 so we'll do minus 64 minus minus 28 so we'll do minus 28 equals to minus 36 okay so that is what we get let us call these equations as equation uh, 4 and equation 5 okay now from these equations to eliminate c we could do 5 minus 4 so we'll do equation 5 minus 4 when we do 5 minus 4 we get our equation 2b c and c cancel out equals to this minus that is minus 10 right 
so 5 minus 4 minus 10 and we can calculate b as minus 10 over 2 as minus 5 so we get value of b as minus 5 so let us call this as our equation 6 substituting b we can find c right so if i substitute b as minus 5 in this equation which is 5 so so we get 5 times b is minus 5 plus c equals to minus 36 and from here we can say c is equals to minus 36 5 times 5 is 25 plus 25 is it okay so when you do that you get 11 minus right so c is minus 11 for you minus 36 plus 25 so we know c now so let us now find d using one of our original equations so let me call this as equation 7 uh, and we will now substitute 7 in equation 1 here right and then try to find the value of d b plus c plus d equals to minus 2 b is minus 5 so we have minus 5 plus c is minus 11 minus 11 plus d equals to minus 2 so we can find d from here d equals to minus 2 and minus 5 minus 11 is minus 16 which will be plus 16 on that side so it is 14 so we know d is 14 so we get the value of d as 14 value of c as minus 11 value of b as minus 5 combining all these values we can finally write down our function now so our answer here is that function f of x is equals to 2x cubed a was calculated directly from the constant third difference plus b b is for us minus 5 so we can write this as minus 5x squared c is minus 11 minus 11x plus d which is 14 so which is plus 14 right so that becomes the equation for us so that is the equation which represents the data for us to check the result what we can do is we can substitute a point and see so if I substitute 4 what do we get do we get 18 so that is what you could actually check so that let that be an exercise for you here is the check so let us substitute 4 in our equation so we get 2 times within bracket 4 cube right minus 5x square so 5 times uh, 5 times x is 4 for us so 5 square right minus 11 times 4 and then we'll do plus 5 plus 14 right and let us see it is 18 for us correct so it is 18 so we can check our point also so what we find is that the point verifies that the equation is perfectly fine so that is how actually you can actually solve get the equation and also check it i hope you understand and appreciate the method by which you can find polynomial equations from the given data i'm anil kumar you can subscribe and learn a lot thank you and all the best